Now, the Labour Party have pulled another ace out their sleeve. Now they're going to means test your pension, which is not very good. If you're looking forward to retiring in a few years' time, the money that you've been paying in, your national insurance contributions that, that pays for your pension, you ain't going to see that. That's going to go. If you've got a private pension that you've been paying into, you won't get a state pension. This simply means that the ministers that are dealing with this in Parliament, the government ministers, <clears throat> now treat the state pension as if it were a benefit. It's not a benefit. You and I have paid in for this. And why did we vote them in? Why did... I didn't vote them in. But why did these people vote them in? I really don't understand. I just can't get my hand round it. We're with under Labour... We've got the new paving tax, we've got the paper mile, we've got the <clears throat> no internal combustion engines after 2030. And it just seems to be getting worse and worse. You wake up every morning to the news that Labour's going to tax you on something else. It's getting to a point where the UK is not somewhere that you want to live anymore. Uh, we've got... Uh, We've got now the police are being blamed because they used force to subdue some criminals in uh, Manchester Airport, I do believe it was. Um, I've seen the footage of these guys absolutely ripping into these police, uh, swinging punches left, right and, and centre. And then one of the guys is tasered and is on the floor and he starts to get up and he was he's kicked in the head by a policeman. Well... I think he deserved it, to be quite honest. After watching the video of him, he broke the nose of a policewoman and attacked two other policemen before the third or the fourth one got him with a taser. Now, <clears throat> as much as I've said the UK police are not fit for service in this country, uh, I don't agree with violence against the police. They're there to do a job. Sometimes they get it wrong and those people need to be brought to task um, over their wrong actions and uh, you know but violence against the police you shouldn't do it there's absolutely no no excuse for it so the guy that that was um, you know detained should uh, should be deported for his behavior there's no there's no reason that, that we should tolerate this kind of behavior in this country uh, especially when they're foreign citizens um, as I said before many times on this channel, most of the illegal immigrants that we get in this country have got homes where they came from. They just come here for the money, come here for the national health and really to take the mickey out of us. Yeah, uh, yeah. well, that's the way the country's going at the moment. The country's going to the dogs and people voted them in. How stupid. I just, I just can't get it. I, I'm really I'm struggling to come to terms with the Labour Party in this country. I really am. I just, I just don't understand it. They're going to walk us back into Europe against our wishes. Uh, and this pension lark is, is just, it's just not on. I've been, I paid into a, a private pension and I paid into the National Health Insurance. So I just wish I'd never paid into my um, a private pension now because that's all I'm going to live on so because I've got a relative it's not a fantastic amount of money coming in um, from a pension I think my forecast is a thousand pound a month but they'll take that thousand pound a month off me when I get my state pension so well, I just don't know it's not it's not worth retiring because you're just going to get screwed. But that's the idea, isn't it? They want us to work until we fall down dead from exhaustion. As I said before, many times I'm broken. I'm 60 and I'm broken. My whole body is aching. Uh, you know, you, once you injure yourself, you know, it, it never really gets better. You know, I've got knees, hips, wrists, elbows, thumbs, everything is just broken uh, anyway moving swiftly on I'll catch you all on the next one